everyone welcome to my channel so today i have invited abhishek in our channel and in this video we will talk everything about google front end interview so hello abhishek thank you thank you for accepting my invitation so could you please give us your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you hey guys i am abhishek i am currently working as a full stack developer in microsoft and uh, I have a lot of experience in uh, web development and data structures. Plus, I have some interest in uh, fields like AI and machine learning. And here, uh, I on uh, on YouTube, I have uh, a channel also. I have multiple channels. One channel is fully focused on the technical content, and one channel is focused on purely like what is a tech knowledge, which is basically in Hindi. So, in case if you want to explore that, do check them out. Yeah, so that page I personally visited his channel and I found he is posting really great content. So I will post the channel link in the description. So please check out description for the Abhishek channel link. So the second question I want to ask that how you got interview opportunity from Google for the front end role. So uh, what basically happened? Uh, so uh, I I made my LinkedIn profile quite open, like open for jobs. Okay, and uh, there were number of opportunities. Like uh, one was from Amazon and one was from Google. Okay, like I got a DM. You get it from some of the HRs, right? First of all, I was not confident enough. Should I proceed for that interview or not? You know, like Google, it's already quite hard. But I, I saw. Let's take it. Uh, let's take the chance. Let's see what happens. Anyway, getting rejection is already a probability is quite high, right? So I went, uh, went with the call. There were some rounds of calls and all that. After that, the basically the interview proceeded. Yeah, so that's great. I have also given Google interview, and I I got rejection in the both. Like I got first interview in the August, and the second interview in uh like in this December. Yes, and in that interview also I got rejection after five round of interview. So yeah, uh, getting rejection at Google interview is is having a really high probability. So second question I want to ask that, uh, like could you please share your interview experience of Google? Like how what kind of question they ask you during the interview? Okay, so see how it started. So after the interview, like after the uh, like, what is it? First call with them. So first call was not the first round. It was normal a first call in which they gave me like, how much time do you want to uh, prepare for it? I was like too confused what to say to them, like because I if I thought that if I ask them a lot of time, they will cancel my interview experience, interview and all that. So I just told two weeks. Okay, and in that two weeks there were a lot of things. I went to my village. I came back, even studied a little. Okay. And then the basically the interview started. So this is how they divided the interview. They divided the interview into four parts. The first three were the technical rounds. The fourth was not the technical round. So this is how it started. For the first and second round, it was more a data section algorithm round. They also shared me a seat. This is uh, like uh, just a guide. This is how you can prepare. Okay. It was not, there were no questions and all that. There were some website links and some steps which you should follow to practice it. And the worst thing was. and uh, the thing that it told me that you are not allowed to use any editors you have to write on google uh, like what docs so you can say it's a promotion of their product no one likes writing on google docs okay so data structure algorithm round uh, for me like the first and second round data structure algorithm round it was around 40 minutes in which they give you two questions and a break of 5 minutes i think 45 minutes okay and so first and second round was almost good for me so the questions were like uh for me the questions were of trees and uh what do you say in uh, it was more like a recursion question and one linked list question so basically the question in uh, evolved from data structures and algorithm and uh, if you ask me about the level of questions i will say uh two questions you can put it in like lead code hard like lead code if i take it as a standard okay you can put two question in lead code hard and i don't know where the remaining two question where it came from okay i just could not get through it okay you can say even a level above your lead code hard okay so basically it means you have to be very very thorough with lead code hard if you can solve your lead code hard well i think you can do something there okay so then after that i went to my third round of the interview so i think you have already seen a lot of a uh, thing on the, uh, the first and two round data structures and algorithm okay so i'm not exploring it a lot i am focusing on the third round which was a front end round Okay. To be honest, Google was also a little partial about the third round. How? For the first and second round, they gave me a doc which has enough resource to study from. Where do we study? How do we study? How should you prepare? Each and every guide was basically mentioned. When it came to front end, they mentioned four topics. Okay, go through these topics. Okay, and they told me also it's not too complete, but they should have done it right. Anyway, 
so uh, what i feel from their front end interview like to be honest from their doc it was not quite clear how should i prepare for it and i was also not very confident like how should i matlab as a front end developer we have given a lot of interviews in a uh, like a, pr- a product based company and startups and all that but when you think about google the expectation comes in your mind is totally different and even i read a lot of articles on internet how is the front end interview i did not find any good resource through which i can really practice it okay so in general what i felt about the interview the interview is heavily focused on javascript the javascript advanced part like if you say es6 feature promises fetch so what will they like for me the questions were like this they will give you a very complicated api to access it of course you just cannot access it you have to use promises and all that then they will tell you check out the test cases and all that you are already confused in that scenario but those things you have to basically do so what i'll recommend is a, a master the uh, advanced part of javascript they did not w- went to react or something okay they just keep their focus on javascript so if your javascript of course fundamentals should be anyway clear if your advanced javascript is quite clear like topics like uh, what is a proto like one of the top prototype in which like most of you are confused so uh, like i i will say prototype is a one of the very important topic then if you go like complete es6 features is quite important especially if i say promises and fetch okay in case if you go through this topic well do a uh, uh, like what is a lost of scenario based question on these topic i'll say you can clear a front end interview for me it was a difficult because for data structures and algorithm i felt confident okay yeah i know data structures and algorithm well plus i have i can relate it to others okay but for front end interview the problem came to me i was already quite frightened before that round and the questions made me fright more anyway i was not i was not very prepared for that round and ultimately i got rejected so we generally have perception in our mind that google only ask dsa but it all depends upon the role generally for software engineer and professor they ask only dsa but if you will apply for the like uh, experienced role like front end developer back end developer android developer then they do ask question related to domain like uh, java script and for android they might ask question from uh, like what is uh, uh, java and uh, different tools for android so yeah you you should not have some, such kind of perception in your mind that google only ask question from uh, dsa yeah they do ask question from dsa like for few round but they will also ask question related to development so hopefully uh, in this video you will uh, get to know about lots about how you can prepare for like how uh, how your interview will look like after few year like after few year of experience so this is really a great video i think for that purpose so uh, last question i want to ask from you is like uh, like lots of our viewer are fresh sir college students so what are advice uh, you want to give them and uh, before asking the last question i want to say that actually this platform is brought to you by newton school and we or uh, i and abhishek both contribute at newton school uh, youtube channel so uh, for this reason i want to say that newton school is starting a new batch a march batch so you can find the link for applying for the march batch in the description so please check out description for that and uh, at least visit the uh, website of newton school you can also find the link for that in the description and you can also join our telegram group so could you please uh, like answer this question where how a fresher and a, uh, someone who is wa- watching this video should prepare for different kind of interview like google microsoft this kind of company okay guys so uh, what i think you now like see many of you like see in case if you know a topic where like whether is data structures or front end in the interview it's not about the problem that you don't know a topic if you don't know a topic of course you cannot do anything if you know a topic the problem is like when you get a question now it's become very difficult to select that question this question lies like which concepts should i apply to these questions and that that is a really a troublesome process like whether you are studying data structures or front end so what will i say of course when you study data structures or front end you solve a lot of questions based on that topic for example if you are studying let's suppose promises so you solve several question on promises now that is what not google is looking for that you know promises or not okay they are or like any good companies what they are looking for if i give you a real time scenario are you able to think that promises will be applied here so what i'll say solve uh, of course solves a lot of questions based on a certain topic then take a category, category of questions and then don't see in what topic they are lining whether the question uh, it can be solved by anything like whether you know if you talk about data such as it can be a uh, like solved by like linked list or it can also be solved by stacks or array whatever algorithms can be applied similarly in the javascript so take pick a problem and try to think what particular concept will be applied 
or what are the different concept that can be applied here to solve that particular question if there are multiple concept applied choose a concept which which concept should you go with and why you should not go with other concept this is quite important number 1 number 2 whenever you solve a certain question make sure test out like we have a habit of clicking on run button again and again whenever we solve it try to uh, overcome that habit whenever you solve a question uh, i'll get, tell you a general two things so don't click on run button be confident what will be out even it is wrong no problem but be sure that this is a wrong output i am going to get so what will happen you will slowly uh, develop your debugging skills like as a developer this is quite important if your code a thousand line of code you got an error it's very difficult to debug out if you are if you don't develop that skill number 1 number 2 now if your question is correct it is only correct on the input that you are passing right so i will say think of some test cases like what are the s test cases how will you think of the s test cases some simple examples can be like you thought of a problem for like positive numbers try to think what will happen in negative numbers what will happen when we put a zero number what will happen when you put a very large number in any kind of scenario just try to think of the edge cases and in case if you are not able to think of a lot of edge cases what what you can do like try to think of the some some edge cases okay and then slowly slowly you will uh, like uh, be able to think more and more test cases and like i'll tell you one experience that happened to me at amazon interview just after uh, like as a fresher when i give so in the i think it was second round okay they have a pen and paper round in the second okay in which they gave us three question the first was a normal question in which i it was related to linked list and second question was also a linked list question but i had to write test case there okay so i dealt with the positive numbers that was all and because we did not have a habit right you think it's easy i can write the test cases but when when it comes to real time you will not be able to write it then okay after when thought okay there can be more test cases possible so i wrote negative number also then i realized oh i miss zero i'll write zero also okay so once you have a practice you'll be able to see things more clearly after some time that's all from my side yeah so that's great these are really important advices uh, be generally understood the power of test cases so this is really important like, like uh, whenever we solve question try to figure out at what te- test case this question will fail this solution will fail don't just click a run button yeah so this is really a great advice so that's all about this video i have covered all those points so thank you thank you for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed our channel then please subscribe this channel and you can also visit abhishek channel i will put the uh, link in the description so that's all thank you so much